this Jess TV. Um, we have with us today one of the biggest faces in Afrobeats UK. Um, in the person of Mr. Silva himself, which we are all aware of, the biggest and biggest, biggest um, Afrobeats star in the country at the moment. To the top, I ride as I'm charging. Know when I get there that I'm parking. Expensive flows with the new bargains. How you doing it? Everybody's asking. On the Yes, Mr. Silva, thank you so much for having us around today. You right? Yes, very good, very good, very good. Um, obviously, we've seen your regs and we've seen you all over the country, everything. Um, there's one question that has been bothering us. I want to know what inspired you to actually start music, especially coming from South London, mm -hmm. where all the guys are into football. <laughs> Well, um, in terms of music, I'd say I was inspired from my father. Like, my father is a big music lover, okay. and my family's into music, and my family's into music. So, I say, I think it's in the genes that's just been passed down to me. Like, when I was younger, my dad's got loads of records in the house, and I was playing music in the house, so I've been brought up around music, you know what I'm saying? And my older brothers okay. decided to follow music, as in, like, Seriously, I think going into production yeah. and working in the studio and as I was younger, I saw those swings and that's what inspired me really, to, to get into music. That's that's that. And personally, I've known you for a couple of um, couple of years back. Yeah, man. Um, I know you were into grime. Yeah, grime so and funky, yeah, yeah. Funky yeah. house, yeah. And you're really big in funky music. Mm -hmm. So how do you switch to Afro music? Um, obviously, where the origin I'm a Ghanaian and obviously I grew up listening to Afro beats or hip life or let's say high life and those sounds there and that's where the Afro beats influence really came from and there was a point where I was doing funky house music and the music that the Ghanaian started to make is that kind of similar but it has the Afri African element to it and it was stronger you know what I'm saying so I was feeling it you know what I'm saying so when I started feeling it I was like hmm and people like was like, oh, you know, Silver, you're sick at funky and that, and the lyrics that, like, yeah, they, they, they like got some kind of tribe, yeah, kind of one kind of feel into it, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Get me? Yeah. So they was like, oh, why don't you try to do Afrobeats at first? I was skeptical. I wasn't really on it. I was like, oh, let me see, let me see. I really like funky. I really like funky. Rare, rare, rare. But then after a while. I was like, you know what, let me just go to the roots. And someone even came to me one day, I had a big discussion, I was like, you need to go back to your roots. I was like, go back to your roots. That's and it. I put it into context and I said, hmm, it makes sense, you know. Yeah. Let me try it. And I did, so we did go into Mummy. And from that day, that's it. That's music, Afrobeats is the thing. Yeah. I've always loved Afrobeats, but in terms of producing Afrobeats now, I'm into it, like, I love it. You that's get me? It. How far do you want to take your music career or Afrobeats to, like, in terms of the UK market? Because mm -hmm. it's still quite new. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I want to take it worldwide and just take it as big as it can go, I mean, the truly, and get to the level of all the other genres that's out there, like hip hop and the house genres, and all the popular music that's out there, get out there to that level, let Africa be respected and be projected to the level that it's meant to be, you know what I'm saying? We out here, being in the diaspora, we need to project our country, you know what I'm saying? Being born in Britain, I'm British born, I have a British citizenship, yeah, I'm British, but at the same time, my blood is Ghanaian. Therefore, I have to project the Ghanaian side as well as the British side, so yeah, man, I'm just hoping to project this at the highest level, man, and just project Africa, and hopefully, you know, we'll get that respect. We already have that respect, but, you know, just go further, man, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? That kind of level. Get me. Good, good, good. And so, um, in terms of this year, um, we are half, half gone already. Mm -hmm. um, how's it been with, with your music career? How's it been with your performances? Mm -hmm. Because I know you've been to other shows mm -hmm. and tours and stuff like that. How's mm -hmm. it going so far? Um, the first six months this year have been great, I can say. It's been great. Obviously, last year we dropped the Miss Baby, I want it. Yeah, and number one, yeah. and those those have been doing their thing, you know what I'm saying? They're still going on now, you know what I'm saying? People are still buzzing off those tracks. This year's have come, this year's come now. Um, I've released my brand new single. I've released two singles already this year. I've released I, I know you like them. I, I know you like them. Uh, and then I've dropped um, Now What's Up. Baby girl, you rock my world. Now what's up? Rock, rock my world. Baby girl, you rock my world. Now what's up? Rock, rock, rock my world. Baby girl, you rock my world. Now what's up? Rock, rock my world. Baby. And recently, 
now what's yeah, up yeah now what's up my latest single that I just dropped recently um, that track is doing very very well it's been out for like three weeks it's on like probably 7,000 views already for the audio and so that's doing well um, it's playlisted on Trace FM daytime radio they're playing the music Afro beat so I'm happy about that and it's trail BBC as well they're doing they're supporting the track as well and um, the video is looking to come out very soon as well so Chale it's been a great six months I can't complain the show featured in the video 110, 110. <laughs> and I'm saying that the, it's building up, and you know I'm saying, and we continue to supply the good music, and the bangers keep coming, and people keep loving the bangers. So it's been a great six months, and I hope that the, other, the rest of the six months can can be just as big up. You know what I'm saying? Do you write the music yourself? Do you write most of them yourself, or because I know some musicians people mm. write songs and bring it to them? Because they are very good at singing. Yeah, yeah. Um, do you write all, most of these songs yourself? And me, I write everything myself. Oh. You know, I think it's a gift that's been given to me by God. You know what I'm saying? So, everyone can write lyrics and form lyrics that people will like and listen and entwine to. You know what I'm saying? So, me, I write all my lyrics, all my music. I sit, sometimes I sit down with producers and we start the thing from scratch, from the kick to the snare to the melodies to the simps. I listen to it if I feel that buzz and that mood in that sound, I, was, I say yeah, add the sound or play it like this. Yeah. I'll make it with my noise, but also you can play the key and you play it in them. Yeah, do this, you add this element, you combine together and we'll make a band. That's, That's how I music really truly. So um in the next couple of months, what's what's gonna be the uh, next gig or play performance show anything? Um in the next couple of months, um end of June I'm heading out to Paris. Okay. Um, we'll be yeah. show in Paris. Um after that uh come back into London, got a couple of three shows in London yeah. going on in July. Um, also got a little, my own event going on the Ink Club O2 Arena. Okay. Um, so yeah, that's, that's for you guys. That's, yeah, that's gonna be popping. Um, also got Canada. Okay. Going to Canada in July. Um, Finland. Um, where else is there? So there's one more place I be for, and I oh, hopefully I'm looking to go out there as well and do my thing, go and project the sound out there. That's so it's going to be a busy summer. It's going to be a busy summer. <laughs> very busy. Very in August busy. we come back and we hit down the party in the park, you know, yeah. back to the roots, the homeland. Okay. And, and in terms of um, collaborations, mm -hmm. um, I know you've collaborated with all these young artists mm -hmm. out there as well, mm -hmm. um, from Spot mm -hmm. to Flavor mm -hmm. Man, um, a lot and Gizmo. Yeah, yeah. 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 Um, who else are you looking to collaborate um, with? Obviously I've had this collaboration with those guys. I've done a couple of Ghanaian ones as well. Um, Stay J, oh, um, Keche as well. Yeah. Had them as well. But now for my next CD, like my next major EP CD that I will drop, I'm aiming to get some serious kind of big collaborations. Hopefully we can get something. I'll be I'll be, I'll be going on the videos tour. Okay. It's coming in September, okay. so I'll be supporting him, headlining that. Hopefully I can get a feature and we can work on doing something with the video. That will be banging. Um, and with this, it hopefully as well, that will be banging. That will be really banging. But yeah, man, I'm looking for some big features right now. That's the that's aim, it. you know what I'm saying? That's so it. That's it. those big features when they come today, a bit a serious hit. You know what I'm saying? Boom, boom, tap. Serious hit. Yeah, a bit serious hit. You know what I'm saying? So um, one more thing. Um, um, we've got a few questions from your fans. Mm. They want to know these things about you because mm -hmm. I couldn't even give it to them myself on our Twitter page. Mm -hmm. um, so we'll just go on Twitter now. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Um, so Mr. Stova, these are the top five questions from your fans. Okay. Um, we're going to start from the bottom to the top. And the fifth one is what are Apart from performing, what are your hobbies? Um, apart from performing, I love this. My second love, or even my first love, you know, is football. Okay. I'm saying, I used okay. to kick ball seriously, but obviously, you know what I'm saying, it's not easy to progress in those fields. You need to be really dedicated, you know what I'm saying? But sure. obviously, things didn't happen, I want it to happen. But yeah, the, uh, my first, I do football. Um, if it's not football, then I lay against music. <laughs> That's and, it. You know That's what I'm saying? It. Yeah, it's not music, I guess you can. Fort one. What's, um, what are your future plans? Um, my future plans, I hope to open up some serious entertainment. I've got an entertainment company already, but hopefully that entertainment company will expand bigger. And, and, and grow bigger. That's it. And we'll have artists on the label. That's it. We'll have different kind of like media work and production teams on the label. We're playing different kind of shows and showcases and stuff like that. This venture be very like 
business business orientated and open up very a lot of businesses and <laughs> just to try and create an empire that's my aim that's it very very impressive um what's one of your what's one of your embarrassing moments um i say one of my embarrassing moments hmm. i say my birthday my 21st birthday um in leicester my friends got me so drunk that i couldn't even remember <laughs> what happened the next day like I, I woke up in my bed and I didn't know how I got to my bed. Trust me. You know what I'm saying? I, I was confused. Like... And when I saw the footage and the pictures, it was very embarrassing. So I think that was oh, okay, that'll be it. moment. And then, how do you describe your style? I love your style as well. How do you describe your style? Well, my style is a fusion. I'll say it's a fusion. It's a fusion of Ghana. It's a fusion of UK. And I'll bring it together and blend it. That's what my style is. You know what I'm saying? A unique style. That's no kind of my style, you know. Yeah. <laughs> and number one question, which I think you would have an idea of what it is, mm -hmm. is have you <laughs> got a girlfriend? <laughs> All the ladies want to know this, Mr. Silver. <laughs> no, Mr. Silver is free man still. Well, ladies, did you hear that? Mr. Silver is still free. Free man, you know. <laughs> Mr. Silver is still free. Still looking for that, that wife, you know. Okay? Yeah, Mr. Silver is still looking for that right one. That, that right, right one. one, you know, right trust. So you, you all should make applications that is ready. Um, <laughs> you can follow him on Twitter, Facebook, Mr. Stover is on YouTube, everywhere you can find Mr. Stover. It was so nice having you around Mr. Stover. Nice Thank you so much for your time. Nice to have you, Mr. Your body make me go so cold. You be my five star model. Be like say yeah, I win the lotto. You sweet like go go. The day my eyesight, I'm like oh oh. You too damn fine when I talk to the bottom. I go show you something.